Hello and welcome to a full 2021 month by month energy and star sign reading or a month by month full breakdown breakdown. So what we will do uh, <laughs> can't talk. What we will do is we look at your star sign, your individual star sign, month by month by month and see what we can um, ascertain about 2021. Um, to give you, in a way, not only a better idea of what's to come, but also hopefully equip you by giving you a uh, heads up um, with ideas how to prepare, or, uh, yeah, it's probably the best way to say it, uh, how to prepare for situations that, that, that may arise, okay? What will happen is this. As you know, if you are um, a subscriber or a regular viewer, everything has an overall energy. And so before we go into your star sign and look at months by months by months what's going on, we will still have to look at the overall energy, which is what we're doing now. Now, the overall energy for 2021 applies to all star signs. So should you be a person that says, I'm that star sign, and then I'm going to watch this for my friend, who is that star sign. Um, you will notice that the overall energy video, this, this little clip before we go into the individual star signs, has been used for all the 12 star signs, because the overall energy simply doesn't change <laughs> for, uh, from star sign to star sign. What does change is obviously the energy within the star sign. Speaking of which, um, the monthly um, videos that we do, uh, well, I should probably rephrase that, the weekly videos that I normally record with or without guests will continue because as nice as this is to have a look at projecting based on the energy that the guides give us, um, when we do um, a weekly video, it is a tad more specific and maybe a tad deeper so don't miss this please subscribe please share um, if that makes sense so and now we're looking at the overall energy for 2021 since this is a long year um, we're gonna break this up a little so we're looking into what the energy of the year is actually going to be like and see what the guides tell us <clears throat> because it might just change again uh, with the seasons and then we look into um, all the other things like, you know, what, what can you expect uh, with um, regards to any uh, business ventures you want to undertake, um, love, and then whatever else the guides bring, bring up, if that makes sense. So let's have a look at what we can expect from 2021 to begin with, if that makes sense. Right? Let's have a look. <laughs> okay, 2021, energetically speaking, feels or will be actually much better than 2020. Well, that's easy because 2020, by all accounts, was absolute shit. <laughs> right? So, here's what the guys tell us about 2020. What they're asking us to do is to remember that as someone spiritual, you will have realized already that you create your energy and if you make life the best it can be, that also filters down to anyone and everyone you meet. And that's what the guides are saying to you. In 2021, new portals will actually open. This will be a much more spiritual year. This will be a year where we connect much better to our guides, which is also needed because don't be a sheeple. Seriously, pay attention. Feel what's going on, uh, on on the planet, right? And bring your energy to the world to um, counterbalance any panic that you see around you, you know, um, the negativity that, that, that is sort of unfortunately happening in this, in this world. Really, really important, but new doors will be open, will be opening, really, really important. 
And when new doors are open, you still have to decide whether or not you want to walk through. And that's what the guides are saying. Be a bit of a wild card in 2021. Try new things because they will be rewarding and you will be rewarded, if that makes sense. It sounds a bit weird, but that's just how my guides phrase it, for your bravery. So, and then the most important thing as the energy for 2021 is for all of us, including myself, everybody, you know, it's the overall energy, you know, is to, so this is what the, what, what the, 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 the card says, and I think it's quite nice, surrender to the sweetness of life. So you create your own energy, keep your energy high, love life, embrace life, and bring that energy to 2021. Um, it's not really rocket science, but what they're saying to you is, or to us is, and we will have a look obviously uh, a little bit deeper into 2021 in a minute, but because the overall energy tells us that it is up to us individually to bring about an energy shift, it's not the easiest thing to do. And, and where do you start? You start with yourself. You start with saying like, yay, life is great. And you do all your weird things that crack you up. Really important if you, you know, have reasons to crack up in the morning. I've been doing this for years. I just do something silly in the morning and it cracks me up. No end. <laughs> and um, and it, 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 it works for me. Because 2021, energetically speaking, is actually a year of pleasure. A year of joy, which we so badly need. Now, that doesn't mean that the, the governments of this world um, won't continue uh, scaremongering, you know, rolling out vaccinations and scaring the shit out of people, <laughs> right? Or coming up with new restrictions. <clears throat> Who knows? The point the guides are making is, even though you may not be able to change what a country, let's just say, imposes on you within all that, you can make an awful lot of change. And they're saying to you, the higher your energy is, the more joy you feel. Um, and, and 2021 will support that. This is a year of joy. So it's like, yeah, and we got this. And so the energy will be reflecting that very idea of, of having f fun, having joy, having pleasure. Because that creates high energy. And the higher the energy, the easier it is to make changes, to bring changes to the life <coughs> we're all living, or to the lives we're all living, right? So the reason why this is a bit vague is because everything is always in flux. So when people say like, oh, that's, that's definitely what's going to happen in 2021, my experience is that you can never really uh, say like, that's definitely what's going to happen because you, ha you also have free will. You could, personally, decide against it if that makes sense so this is overall energy and again within it you have to see what's what's going on um, it will be much clearer we'll get much clearer i suppose um, when we look at the individual star signs anyway um, when we look at you know what's what's going on there but let's just have a look at certain things for 2021 and People somehow, you know, somehow feel, seem to be really interested in 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 their their businesses. Oh, I want to be more successful, and I get that. But success is a weird thing, in that it doesn't necessarily define you. What it probably brings you is this financial stability, and maybe allows you to do what you want to do, and that's all good. And we're gonna look at this, but. Energetically speaking, it is much more important that you, as a spiritual being trapped in a body, <laughs> so to speak, um, have a sense of belonging and a sense of being loved. So let's just look at what 2021 holds for us on, a, on an emotional level um, with regards to To yeah, yeah, to be to to love and being to being loved, right? So we have the totem, the dove, and the cat. Interesting because remember, in the beginning of this um, 
video, the guides were saying that new portals are opening and that it is important that you make it your, your own. And totem, for want of a better word, means family, means tribe. So 2021 is the year, and this is awesome, where you will find your tribe and where should you have already found it, relationships within your tribe are much better, which also means that relationships on a love, uh, um, love level um, will get much more solidified, which is really, really good. And there's a couple of interesting things because you have the dove and, and the cat. So what they're, oh, this is again, you know, you have free will, that's, so that's why I see this as a suggestion. Um, even, but it's based on the fact that the energy supports that. Because we have the dove and the cat with regards to love and being loved and belonging somewhere. Right? Be peaceful. Don't argue because it's a, dif it's a difference between mm, speaking your mind, speaking your truth, expressing yourself and getting irate and angry and upset about it, which ultimately lowers the energy a little. Well, if, there, if an argument is heated or, or, com or even a conversation is heated, energy always suffers a bit. <laughs> but what they're saying is in 2021, just pay attention to your energy at all times. And because we're talking about love and being loved and the feeling of, you know, how do I, how do I, how do I keep this up? How do I make sure that the person I love is supported by me? And the person I love or the people I love support me. And this may or may not be surprising to some of you because we have the cat. And what they're saying is, in any relationship, and that includes work, but we're not talking about work now, we're talking about love. In any relationship, it is important that you remain yourself. And because you have the cat, what they're saying is, do your own thing as well, right? Make time for relationships. I also have the feeling we have to sort of, in a way, prioritize our relationships. So it's not that you can just do whatever the heck you want, well, you could, but you know, you do whatever the heck you want and then you wonder why the relationship is falling apart. So they're asking you to pay attention to the, the, to the needs, if that makes sense, of the relationship. You know, maybe it is important that the, the, the people or the partner you're with um, needs a bit more of your time, right? So give that. At the same time, the cat is basically saying to you, if you are a person that has a hobby, if you are a person that, that um, works spiritually and therefore, you know, or, or, or even if you work as, as anything, <laughs> um, that is sort of your thing, sort of self-employed. Um, or if you work for the better for the betterment of people, society, you know, all that kind of stuff, you will need time to look at what you're doing, um, <clears throat> fire, you know, come up with new ideas, all these kind of things. So what the guides are saying is, be the cat, remove yourself at times, and because this is your energy for the year, your partner will very likely or should really do the same. And you can expect them to understand that you can't sit 24 seven uh, every single day with them on the couch and cuddle as nice as this is because you have a life to live. And there are certain times in your life where the way you plan your life and the things you do in life may not meet the interests of your partner. And so this is not about compromising. This is about saying like, okay, I, this is what I enjoy doing as well. And just make space for this and um, be, be upfront about it. Don't try to hide something and don't try to, um, you know, don't let this become an issue, if that makes sense. But it is important that you have a little bit of, well, actually, because we have to get more than just a little bit, of, um, of self-sustained me time within your relationships, right? Okay, so that's really 
that's nice. that's really well, yeah, what it is for 2021 with regards to love. We quickly go into <coughs> work and business and all these kind of things. My feeling is I don't want to do half an hour just on the overall energy because that can be tedious in the fact that it is much more interesting to you if we look at your star sign and what it will bring month by month by month. But it is important to overall see if there's actually opportunities coming or not. So we're looking at opportunities for 2021 with regards to anything that is um, related to um, work and income and all that kind of stuff. And what the guides are saying to you is that we have to, you have to, you ought to balance spirituality and practicality. So you are a spiritual person and new opportunities will come to you because your energy is, is powerful, is awesome. But you have to also learn to realize that um, sitting under a tree doing um, hugging 25,000 trees is awesome, but it doesn't sustain you with regards to you know paying rent and all that kind of stuff. And what they're saying is, but balance it out. Best case scenario, and this has always been my take on it because I've had this life where I worked in many massively big companies um, and then I've been fully, full-time self-employed since 2009. Before that, I was part-time self-employed, if that makes sense. But since 2009, I've been not, I, I haven't been doing anything else but what I came here to do. So I feel incredibly blessed and that's what the guides are saying is if 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 you find it difficult to balance out spirituality and practicality then 2021 because this is one of the opportunities that they're talking about is the year where if you focus on that's what i want to do i want to be that person i want to be me then that's what the guides will support and then we have and this is interesting surrender to the divine says it all, trust that there is no coincidence, trust that your life has purpose, trust that there's guides around you that help you with everything. So don't get too upset about things. There will always be a million, a million and one ways to tweak things and to get somewhere. But with regards to opportunities that lead to... Um, a more secure life, if that makes sense. What the guides are saying is surrender to the divine opportunities will arise. Look at them for what they are. And first and foremost, um, remember we're living in a world where a lot of people really, unfortunately, are not all that awake. Um, they don't feel themselves, don't understand what is out there in the universe that could help them. They don't ask for guidance. They don't ask for help. And you are a person that has that down to a T. And so what the guides are saying is you're not here to save everybody. Even if you do spiritual work for a living, you can only offer if people take it, that's fine. If they ultimately are not there yet, there's not much you can do or should be doing because people have to be ready before they take that journey, if that makes sense. And all you can do is provide that lifeline that gets them there. So <clears throat> that's what, 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 what 2021 is energetically. Um, what I'm getting is before we, we sort of close down the overall energy and go into your individual uh, year, is to realize that spirituality being the best version you can be is exactly what is needed for 2021. And I believe, based on the energy that I'm getting, this is really about a counterbalance, creating a counterbalance to all the things that are happening in the world. You know, everybody, I think the only topic really in 2020 was, was, was bloody COVID, right? And um, all that kind of stuff, which obviously puts a big damper 
dampener on all of us. And then look at how many businesses have suffered because of it. Look how many restrictions there are. Um, people become more isolated and have become more isolated, which is not good, if that makes sense. And that's what the guy said earlier. Tribe. You will find your tribe and you are part of the tribe. And so you, with your high energy, allow your tribe to do more than they were able to previously. So overall, the energy of 2021 is really high and it's a kick-ass energy. It's like do energy. It's not a do or die energy, but it's an energy where, they, where they're saying like, you know, we're sending you opportunities, but if you kind of sit there, I can't see them. Yeah, well, then you can't see them, right? Be proactive, be out there, have high energy, right? Do things and doers always do best, okay? So that was the overall energy. Remember, you will see this little clip for all or for all in, in all the 12 videos for the star signs because the overall energy applies to all star signs, therefore never changes, right? So, okay, that was that. And now we're looking into your own months by months breakdown, if the, for want of a better word, of your individual star sign. Yeah, let's do that. Hello, Virgos. <clears throat> let's look at your 2021 months by months starting obviously with January. Let's have a look what the universe has got for you. Let's see. Okay, for Virgos, as the new year 2021 begins, the guides are asking you to sever all thoughts that you have that are non-spiritual. They're asking you to look into the core of your being. Who am I? What am I made of? If that makes sense. And the answer is you're a star being and you're made out of stardust. And our true home is the sky. And um, what the guides are saying to you is, is you need to realize that people oftentimes spend more time being frustrated, even angry, than they spend feeling truly blessed. And all the guides are saying to you, Virgos, in January, if you let go of being or dealing with people and situations who are not feeling truly blessed, your energy will really rise. That doesn't mean all your uh, issues disappear. That doesn't mean the world will be perfect tomorrow. But it means that because you realize that your true essence, your true core is to bring love and healing to this world and therefore manifest and claim it for yourself. That's what brings you that feeling of belonging, that feeling of, yes, that's who I am. And what the guys are saying to you for January 2021 is to literally trust that your ancestors are around you and that a lot of beings over, over lifetimes have sort of sacrificed a lot of their freedoms so that we in the 21st century can really express our spirituality without being afraid. And remember that with all the lockdowns and stuff going on, it does truly feel like an attack on spirituality, right? Um, a lot of, of low energy is being put out day by day by day by day. And people who are deep, like you, will feel it. And so what the guides are saying is, acknowledge who you truly are, and that's the first step for you in 2021, to get that bit closer to having a fulfilled life spiritually, right? 
That was that. Going into February 2021, this is the star sign of Virgo. Okay. Hmm. What this... When you look back at January, what the guides were saying is, is for you to, to um, change your life by not being part of this scaremongering and um, uh, even listening to all that stuff. And so what will happen in, in February for, um, for Virgos is that you will now be homesick <laughs> for the stars. You will feel a little bit unsettled, you may feel a little bit lost. And what the guides are saying is, that's what meditation is for. Come visit us. That's what journeying is for. Come visit us. Come come talk. Right? And remember that you have like-minded people in your life. Right? Um, call them. You know, meet them. You know. It's important. Just just connect to to people who have your values, who share your values, who like you want to ascend from 3D to 5D, if that makes sense, right? So there's a new consciousness that is filtered down to us because we are needed, right? All of us are needed. That's why I'm not talking about Virgos only. We are all needed as spiritual healers. I also get the word spiritual warriors, what that means, whatever that means. All the guides are saying is you will be a bit uh, lovesick for the stars. And all the guides are saying is we're here. We always have been here. Why don't you come visit us? Right? Look into how you meditate. And there's also other things that you can do like journaling. Um, you know, uh, that's all ways of, uh, of connecting. Even if you just light a candle and look into it, that's connecting. Right? So there are ways out there that are, that are relatively simple to connect with uh, with your guides and that's all they're saying is because what happens is um, when you move past that I'm, I'm so alone so I, I miss my star family um, you will actually feel the deep love that sits inside you because that's that's what you truly are is a being of love and the way this world works is most of us cannot express it right um, and I'm not talking about people that say like free hugs you know hug me all day long that's not what the guides are referring to but it's it's realizing that that only a high energy will will change this planet because high energy is contagious so they're asking you to be at your highest then use that um, you know because we need more we need more healers we need more spiritual people on this planet that show what they're made of and that's what the guides want, want uh, from you, if that makes sense, right? <clears throat> and it <coughs> is not as difficult as it actually sounds, right? So just trust it. Going into March 2021, oh, it's getting even better. <laughs> Here we go. Sorry, TARDIS. Yeah, what the guides are saying is in March, you will have found yourself perfect you will have a much better idea of how you tick what your purpose is what you're doing in that frame um, of life that you are in and you will notice that you're not not random there's nothing random about you right you have a place here that means something right and Come March, all they're saying is, you know, just surrender to that feeling of knowing, yes, I have a purpose, yes, I do belong, without necessarily needing to um, go overboard and say, okay, now, now I have to do something. Yes, you will do something because it comes from within. There's no need to rush anything, right? I have one card here that sort of says, make your life a moving prayer. And I'm a non-religious person. But prayers are nothing else than, 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 than manifesting, asking for guidance and, and reiterating on a wish or some wishes. And so if you walk through life saying, you know, 
I manifest this and I want this. And you can use the word want, you know, because the universe will give you what, what, what they feel you, you, you need and um, you can handle it at, at, at any specific time, you know. But saying I want is not a bad thing, you know. I know there's this politeness thing or could you please and it's all good, you can do that too. But you can also just clearly say, you know, I want to work spiritually. I am spiritual, I want to work spiritually. And then without frustration, say like, show me, help. And they will begin to show you signs. It's that simple. So that's what's going to happen in, in March. But what is needed in March is your, is your input, is your willingness to be louder about it and talk to you guys and say like, Oi, <laughs> where are you? Right? In April, you will feel struggle in the sense that your new awareness comes with realizing that, sounds a bit tra traumatic here, the rest of the world, which is not exactly how I should phrase this, but I can't find the words. You, know, you will notice that that sort of the rest of the world um, is very unhinged. And a lot of people are just walking about and they're not doing anything with their life other than what they think is important. And what the guides are saying is what is really important, and you have realized this, especially, and you will realize this in April, is to make changes to this planet. Bring people together, bring beings together and and tell them there's other ways of doing this. So should you be a Virgo that is working in healing, um, maybe run a circle or something, share, 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 share. It's really important because you have, you have the, um, number one, you have what is called the inner earth, which means you are, you're feeling lost. It's not lost, it's your isolation. You feel like, well, I'm really isolated here because you have to restart your life. Um, research for um, your fellow spiritual beings and then make things happen all in the midst of this um, weird thing that goes on in the world where you have to wear a mask which means you put a piece of cloth between you and air <laughs> you know so there's a lot of things off and all the guides are saying is you'll, you'll, you'll get this you will survive this this is not the end at all but in April you have what we call the blue flame, which means you have um, even more of an awakening in April. But also you can express yourself much better in April. And they're asking you to express yourself firmly, but lovingly. Okay, so that was your April going into May. But before we do, I just want to um, try and put this into context because you probably sit there like... <laughs> right. What the guides are saying to you is, in 2021, it is time you truly understood how deep you are. And it's truly important, truly, truly important for you to claim that life, seek out others who are claiming this life, grow together, work together, Look at people who have a common denominator and put people that you love dearly, because they haven't said to let go of you, everybody, um, literally in their place and tell them, I will not allow you to stop my growth simply because you are not on the same path. Right? People are always on different paths. That doesn't mean you, you have to isolate yourself and, 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 you know, because sometimes the universe also sends us people who, who could do with being on the path, they're just not ready yet. So they end up in your life and your energy will hopefully get them there. So you are a healer, you attract people um, who sometimes even are a bit needy, right? So huh, let's go into let's go into um, into May. And this is actually just a, a continuation of what the guys just said. You have this you have the double vision, which means you are a light worker, right? We all are light workers, if that makes sense. But you have to realize in May, I'm a light worker. I'm a light worker star seed. I'm coming from the stars. I came here to help and to create. And all the guides are saying to you, which is the easy part, is 
You can serve the world best by being you. But be your authentic self, be your true self. Really, really um, important because when you're being you and you say like, no, I'm going to see the world truly from a higher point of view, truly from a spiritual point of view, that's when you get inspired ideas too, to create a life that fulfills you. Okie dokie, that was your May. Going into June 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Virgo. Here we go. This is getting even better. <laughs> okay, as you have noticed, the guides really haven't changed topic. This is all about you realizing how spiritual you are and then living that, if that makes sense, with all that entails. And come your June, what the guides are saying is, you are really a part of a team of souls. And therefore, you can call in the support. You know, again, this is a, this is a this is a matter of saying in June I have I I want to you don't have to do anything but you know they, they phrase it with I have to um, journey more meditate more think about what I want to do maybe study more if you feel like I'm not quite equipped yet <coughs> all that is coming to you in June and all the guides are saying is you're already part of that star family and because you're reconnecting you're docking on uh, to to that portal that is clearly your home and um, you will feel the love of the universe right the, the trick is because see we're all from the stars and now we have a physical body and we live here in this world and it's pointless not being here as you live your life the one thing i will never do is sit under a tree for days on end and go on Right? As nice as this would be, I could do with a bit of calmness every now and then, but I reach out differently and that takes time and effort and I put my effort into that. I can still go, which I often do, and drum in the woods and hug a tree and do all these things. So that's what they're saying to you. Just, you know, um, don't, don't be afraid. You are a part of everything and you will feel the love. The trick is not to long for it. You know, you can't say, um, wow, I wish I was there, because it's not your time yet. So don't be frustrated about the fact that the world as it is right now, and it's not an unloving place, right? It's just a place that is very burdened, okay? So, July 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Virgo. Um, I normally only record weekly videos, um, but I have decided um, I do 12 videos, record them in December, so come, come the new year, you can look at your whole year. And because Virgo is the last one, you know, alphabetically speaking, you are the last, you video 12 of 12 <laughs> for the year. And in July, what they're saying to you is, um, what's, what's the, um, I have to find it. I find it a bit difficult sometimes to, to understand how they want me to phrase it. They're, they're sort of always a bit worried about me um, saying it too harshly, I suppose. <laughs> All they're saying is to you in July. Cut a long story short, let's just try to keep it simple. Should you be able to travel, go to spiritual places, connect? A spiritual place is also any plant that you can see. It's a spiritual universe all by itself, right? So if you can be um, in a forest and if you can be um, in touch with nature, that will help you. But also in July, if you can travel, seek out spiritual places, you know, standing stones, for instance. You know, go to places where you feel like, wow, there's some energy there, right? And soak it all up, right? And exchange, because as you are there and you are being you, which is obviously uh, what they want you to do for 2021, is to purely being, be you, um, you exchange energy. You leave a bit of your energy there for others to soak up, right? And that's all really good. So, um, in a way, what the guides are saying is you can't micromanage things, right? So don't overthink. It's really important for you not to overthink uh, in July as well, because there are times where, um, that's what they're giving me, Virgos are a bit too analytical, 
overthink a lot and therefore doubt a lot. And what the guides are saying is that trait does not serve you really, right? Yes, to a certain extent it does keep you safe, but um, the world isn't safe. And um, you are part of a, of, of a group of souls. So you are as safe as you can possibly be. So what the guides are saying is in July, go and visit places. There are also places that you can visit by not leaving your home. There's just places that, that you can visit simply by um, meditating. But the feeling that I'm getting is, if, if at all possible, go there in person, right? That was your July. Going into August 2021, we're looking at the star sign of Virgo. Wow. <clears throat> okay. When the guides make suggestions, they really hope that you follow them. And because in July they're asking you to truly, physically connect with high energy places, soak up new energy, in August you will really get deep cellular healing. You will feel like, whoa, that was so needed, but you need to go in, in July. So in August they're saying is now you really experience a different type of spirituality. You will feel much stronger. And all the guides are saying is, again, you don't have to rush anything. Just because you feel stronger, you might get a bit impatient. And all the guides are saying is in August, don't get impatient. There is a, a phrase that they're using here in this deck, all path, I can't pronounce T-H, all path, P-A-T-H-S, all path, lead home. And that's true. What that means is you live your life to the fullest by sharing the love, helping people with uh, on their journey, you know, by being your spiritual self. Um, and if that means that you work spiritually, um, I don't know, you, you may give readings, you do you do Reiki, um, whatever whatever you do really, um, will aid. And that's another way of connecting to the universe. And that's all they're saying is keep connecting to the universe without um, Feeling, feeling, I'm not getting anywhere. You are. It's just, you know, because you have this body and you might feel a bit trapped every now and then. Right? That's why the guys are saying is, you know, be as, be as spiritual as you can truly be. And, um, and you're going to be fine. Right? That was your August going into September. Wow. This is awesome. In September, and this may sound... Uh, a bit like 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 a fairy tale, if that makes sense. So the energy is a bit, you know, like like a, like a Disney thing. Um, what will happen to you in September is that you will truly be able, because you have made a lot of progress this year, you will truly be able to connect to your star brothers and sisters. And all they're saying is, you know, they will send you the energy that the, the Pleiadians Pleiades has and and basically say to you like come on fall into our arms embrace us the same way we embrace you so in September the universe is attempting to truly make you aware and let you feel how much you belong so September is a month for Virgos where it makes a lot of sense that what they show me anyway sorry, just the car fell down, to have um, crystals around you. You know, wear crystals, carry them with you. A lot of crystals seem to be important in September uh, for you. And there's also some healing crystals that are important for you to have and, to, and to, to wear because every time you really connect to your, to your guides, um, whatever pain you have inside you, if that makes sense, whatever past trauma is inside you has a chance to be detected and to leave right so september may not be the easiest of months for virgos but it's a very powerful one okay going into october 2021 so in october um, the guides are saying to you, there is a new 
you have already realized come October, because all year they just talked about spirituality, if you notice this, they haven't talked about anything else but to live spiritual, spiritual and be you. So in October, you all of a sudden begin to remember your soul plan. Wow, I get it. That's why I'm here. I feel much more connected. And that took just a bit over 10 months, didn't it? <laughs> and all the guys are saying is, that's cool, right? But in October, <clears throat> you will remember um, your soul plan and you will therefore bring this, uh, this, this unconsciousness that you had that is now much more conscious to light. So you will be a much more powerful version of yourself. And in October, you really feel um, a part of this massive universe and remember that even though we're all just specks of dust, really, you know, every speck is important and you are important. Okay, that was your October, only November and December left. We're looking at the star sign of Virgo. This is your 2021 monthly rundown, breakdown, whatever you want to call this. In November, the, the, um, <clears throat> sorry you will get stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger all year. And in November, you feel like almost like an energetic, ah, what's the word? I can't remember, I can't remember what the word is, I'm trying to find it, it doesn't really matter. What, what will happen to you in November is to realize because you're getting stronger and stronger and stronger, you also attract the needy and you also really have to have a really, really close and deep look into how much do I absorb that isn't mine, right? Because that's another thing, because you feel like, maybe you feel like, oh, because, because I'm healing, I have to be there all the time, and maybe that's your trait. Mm -hmm. And unless you learn to deflect, it can have a big toll on your energy and even your health. And so what the guys are saying is in November, they're asking you to, um, to really look at how much am I absorbing that is mine. And, and in November, you will also, because you have lived spiritually all, all year, which can feel a bit like detached, in November, because you're paying attention to how you absorb other people's issues and, and how you try to fix them. You can't fix people. You're not here to fix people. You're just here to help, right? And in November, you will therefore, be, by looking at it, learn to be human. Learn to see, yeah, we all have failings. And does it really help if I tell you what to do? Does that really make sense? Wouldn't it be better if I just advise you um, and any person that comes to you in the end has to put the work in, right? So that's what, what November is, is about. Um, so in other words, they ask you to be very grounded and, um, in, in November and, and you got this, right? Here we go. See, because the guides give me all things about the stars, which um, is so strong that it knocks me a little bit, I have problems truly expressing it in words because you know words are quite overrated and um, the, the my guides that I work with they are older than words and they talk in symbolism and so, so you do have noticed that sometimes I struggle a little bit with putting this in into work if that makes sense right so that was your November going into into December the last months for for Virgo and the last months is basically where the guides are saying is, you know, you have done so much this year, you've grown so much, now it's time to step up. And what that means is, December is the time where you should really sit down, regardless of how many, uh, um, you know, important things are always happening in the Christmas months and how busy you, you are. This is the time where you say like, okay, that's what I'm going to do with my life. That's what I want to that's where I want to make my mark spiritually. That's what I want to do. And then jump right in. In December, make proper plans for 2022 then. 
and, and say to the guides, that's what I have in mind, help me. I always say to my guys, come on, chop, chop, haven't got all day. <laughs> and oftentimes, obviously, they don't speed things up because everything happens, you know, when it's ready kind of thing. But um, I know this person, it's sometimes quite nice if I tell them, look, you know, that's what I'm, that's what I'm planning. And then, you know, things can be tweaked and will be tweaked. But um, what they're saying to you is after the year that you have had in 2021, where everything was about you realizing your, your spiritual strengths, what the guides are saying is, well, we told you we need more healers. So in December, we're asking you to really, really, really be part of it. But do something with it that is bigger than just meeting one person at a time. Okie dokie, Virgo, thank you so much for watching this. Uh, and please subscribe, because I do this, these weekly videos still. So please subscribe, please share. And uh, again, thank you so much. See you soon.